Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we are going to talk about how to carry out Ramsey Reset Test. Basically, it is a test for misspecification of the functional form of the equation. How we can do this in EVUs? Let's see. One of the most important problems in econometrics is that in reality, we are never certain about the form or the specification of the equation we want to estimate. This means that we are never, we are never sure that our independent variable is following the linear, is affecting linearly the independent variable or not, or it is having a quadratic nature. Say for example, in this equation, x2, we can have a linear effect also, we can have a quadratic, we can have a cubic effect also. And for this, we have to carry out the Ramsey reset stress for general misspecification. How we can do this? For this, we will go in the environment of EVUs. We'll go in quick estimate equation and we'll specify y is a dependent variable c constant x and z. We'll estimate the equation by pressing OK. Now I will go in view stability diagnostics and I'll press Ramsey reset test. It will ask me the number of fitted terms. When I'll specify one, it will take the square of the independent variable, right? So if it is one, it will take square. If I specify here two, it will take a cubic form. So if it is one, it will take x and x square. If I specify here two, it will take x, x square and x cube. So I'm just specifying here two and click OK. You got the answer. So you can see here fitted square and fitted cube. I'll copy this result in Word file and let us try to interpret. Here the null hypothesis is model is correctly specified. The alternative is model is not correctly specified or model is misspecified. So you can see here the p-value is this p-value is 0.5782 which is more than 5% level of significance. We fail to reject null hypothesis which means that model is correctly specified. This we can confirm by the p-values of the fitted square, the quadratic model or the cubic model. And you can see that the p-value of all of them is more than 0 0.05 and these terms are not significant. For more videos on econometrics, you can subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button. Thank you.